Growing up, Toys R Us was one of the most popular stores to visit. You could basically find any toy you were looking for in these places. But over the years with less people going, Toys R Us filed for bankruptcy in 2017 and closed all their stores basically overnight in 2018. But over the past couple years, they started to come back with them putting smaller shops back in malls like Macy's and the American Dream Mall. So what I'm going to do in this video is visit an abandoned Toys R Us that's been closed for years and then go to the one in the American Dream Mall to see how Toys R Us is doing nowadays. Let's go. Here we are at the abandoned Toys R Us. As you can see, it's completely shut down. So I'm gonna have to take a look at it, but I'm not here alone. I'm with Christian and Matt. Let's see if we can take a look inside. <laughs> so clearly this place is not open. They have everything boarded up. I know you guys thought there could be a chance, but it's not open. <laughs> I guess over the years, everyone smashed all the windows. So now it's just in a bunch of pieces. Oh, look what they do have though. The Grimace shake. Grimace. Say happy birthday, Grimace. You have to say happy birthday, Grimace. Grimace. Right, one more time. Happy birthday, birthday Grimace. Grimace. One more time. Happy birthday, Grimace. Grimace. Don't touch the glass. <laughs> Now, for some reason, all of this glass is broken, but on this side, it's still intact. I don't know what that means, but it is. So this probably would have been the front entrance or side or something, but no matter what, it's boarded off. And even if it was open, I wouldn't go in there. The craziest gate? Do not look in there. Happy birthday, Grimace. <laughs> now, obviously, this is the best part. Somehow, the sign is still here. Looks like the R fell off, but everything else is still intact. Up there, you can see they probably tried to cover it at one point, but the plastic's completely torn off now, and only that little strip is left. And obviously, as for the spray paint, I don't agree with that. We had some guy come up to us as we were filming this, asking us to please not spray paint and stuff, but we're not doing that. I'm just here to film the sign and talk about it. I have no life. So that's basically it for the front of the building. Now we'll go around to the side and see if there's anything there. So this is the side of the building. It's just as eventful as the front. You do got a sign over here, though. This one's a little bit more covered up. Probably what the one in the front looked like, but the plastic fell off. This one's still on a little bit, but you can see the T-O there. And as for the back, there's pretty much nothing. Besides that spray paint that says i just pooped and you can see a toilet over there i didn't really go to toys r us that much as a kid i definitely did a couple times but for some reason it just wasn't a place i went to that often it is a shame to see it like this just so beat up and destroyed it was like one day toys r us was around and the next day they were all gone also this was pretty interesting they still have the original sign for the toys r us which i don't even know why because the place is closed now let's end this on a high note and go to a toys r us that's actually open Yay! So that was the abandoned location. Now we made our way over to the Toys R Us in the American Dream Mall. And it looks like we arrived. All right, I think this is it. It says R Us. Let's go. All right, you got to prepare. What to expect when pregnant the first year and the baby book itself. I like this one at the bottom. Can you pick that up? <laughs> this store is like a nostalgic field trip. They got all the classic books. Chicka chicka boom boom. All the places you'll go. And Good Night Moon. Here's the book I always saw but never read in my <laughs> life. I've seen this everywhere. All right, guys, play with the toys and see which one we want to buy. You might be a little too old for it, though. Happy birthday, Grimace. The classic toy. Hello? That's a real phone. They didn't have toys like that when we were kids. Now they have toys that are just phones. All right, guys, what are you looking at? Oh, what the? You gotta make, like, baby noises. Yeah. Gag, gag. <laughs> we gotta test it out. You didn't really act like a dad, though, so that might have to be a take, too. Care. Glenn's favorite thing, Jack in the Box. But this time, it's Mickey. Oh! Whoa. Oh, this is a long oh. one. Oh! Well, it looks like we finished up at Toys R Us. Oh, wait a minute. This is Babies R Us. We're at the wrong store. We gotta go to the actual one. Let's go. You walk away. There you go. So right behind me is a Toys R Us. We went here like a year ago, but we only walked in for a little bit. Now we're gonna actually tour it and see everything they have. But before we enter the Toys R Us, I'll show you what's on the outside of it. So this Toys R Us is located in the American Dream Mall, but it's actually a pretty big area. So right here, they got this giant screen just playing like a bunch of random stuff. This is pretty cool though. They have the history of every Jeffrey the Giraffe logo. I do love stuff like this. You got one from 1965, 1975. You got a little bit more cartoon. 1985 they love doing every 10 years in 1999 he got more hair it looks like he's almost going for that lion look in 2001 he just jumped at being normal and then in 2007 he went back to being a cartoon 2001 was definitely a weird period for him and then next to that it's just another entrance into the toys r us if you want to meet jeffrey he's only out saturday and sunday so we missed him we're not going to see him walking around today and on both sides they have a statue of jeffrey the giraffe but with all that it's finally time to enter in toys r us they always have this slide here but every time we come it's closed they don't want anybody on it oh he's trespassing we got magic eight balls i always love those will mr beast comment on this video i can't even read it <laughs> you may rely on it oh he's gonna come it will this video get two million views my reply is no they got this big sand pit 
They give you like barely any sand, probably because they don't want kids throwing it around all over, but they failed. Over here, they have the real Nickelodeon slime. One problem is though, there's no green. Look, it's all over here. Slime, it's green. They got blue and gray. They got like a test one. Oh my, this is disgusting. <laughs> the slime, oh my. Yeah, I don't want to buy that. We got the Barbie purple carpet. Is both of your names Ken or Barbie? Hey, Barbie. Barbie. Hey, Barbie. Happy birthday, hey, Grimmis. In this back section, we got all the board games. What is this game? This game is bonkers. The classic 1978 game. I've never heard of that in my life. I like this though. They got the vintage packaging. You can compare the old one to the new one right there. These are the most random games ever. Where's the classics? Monopoly, Twister. Oh, they got new Monopoly. <laughs> Monopoly Jenga. <laughs> they slap Monopoly on anything nowadays. Every game is shoved in this corner. That one game is holding this whole tower up. I want that one up there, please. This one I loved as a kid, perfection. You put all the stuff in there and then it'll just pop out and scare you. So this place actually has two floors and now we're gonna make our way up to the second one. Up on the second floor, you can actually see where you're supposed to go in the slide, but it's never open. Sit down, have your little play time together. Play with tree. Now this is great. You can make any word you want on this board. Someone put their YouTube channel up there. <laughs> Look at that. We even got Crow ran up. Uh, uh, oh, there it is. Burger. Perfect. They got the mascot in plush form. Jeffrey the giraffe. Anytime we see something like this, you know they got to get in it. All right, oh smile. Your hair's in the way a little bit. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Smile. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. Wait, wait, you didn't kiss it, dude. You're not even officially married. Here they got a train track, but there's no train. So we got the best replacement. Yeah. How old are we? Maybe we do belong in Babies R Us. Wow, these toys are for babies. I want that thing. You got the three-headed dog. I forgot they had this. It's the Toys R Us train. Look at this thing. We were gonna go on it, but they literally just closed the minute I saw it. So this is the best we got. We stand in front of it. And then this is the front of the train. Basically just a regular train that goes around, but it has Toys R Us all over the place. They got the crazy Jurassic World toy. Uh, this is like the weirdest operating toy ever. Wait a minute. Where's the toy? I don't see any in there. Where is it? How could they be selling this? They forgot to put the toy in. The funniest gag since 1911. You may kiss the guy. Oh, wait. I don't want to do this. And of course, we got to get some of Jeffrey's ice cream in the Jeffrey's Cafe before we leave. All right, so that was us going through Toys R Us. It was great. And now it's time for some Jeffrey ice cream. Tastes like Toys R Us. Subscribe. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? One, two, three, four, five. Angry Birds!